What's up y'all, working on a demo here and I have a very dry vocal and I thought I'd do a vocal chain with just stock Logic plugins. The signal path on this vocal is nothing fancy. SM7B right into the Universal Audio Arrow. This is what the raw vocal sounds like right now. Don't want a margarita without the salt. Don't want a dance floor without the song. Some things are just better when you put them both together and you don't ever want them apart. All right, so it's super raw right now. So the first thing I would do is add EQ. Don't want a margarita. And see, most of all this can go. So we'll put a high pass or a low cut, whatever. Don't want a margarita without the saw. Next thing I probably would do. Now this vocal is already tuned. I comped it and tuned it. And then I exported it or bounced in place. Um, and... So I'm working with tuned audio. I like to go ahead and comp and tune my vocal in a different stage. That way when I get to this part, um, I can treat it differently and not worry about applying more tune or dragging that plug-in down. The next thing I would do is add this compressor here. One of my favorites is the Vintage FET. Let's hear how that sounds. Don't want a margarita without the saw. Don't want a dance floor without the saw. Again, we just don't want this needle going too crazy. Don't want a margarita. It's pretty good there. All right, now let's go with some EQ here. I'm going to do another channel EQ. I'm looking for a specific frequency that's bothering me, so I'm going to adjust this Q. Don't want a margarita without the saw. Don't want a dance floor without the saw. Some things are just better when you put them both together and you don't ever want them apart. Don't want the lights without the... I think that's it. Somewhere around... Don't want a margarita. Just that harshness right there. I want to go ahead and do a little cut there. Don't want a margarita without... I want to adjust the lows just a little bit right there as well. Don't want a margarita with... I know we had a high pass up there. I'm just kind of... I do it just for the sake because I know I'm working on a vocal even though I know we've already done it. I'll do it again. Don't want a margarita without the saw. Don't want a dance floor. All right, this is without it. Don't want a margarita without the saw. Here's with it. Don't want a margarita without the saw. Don't want a dance floor without. So it's a very subtle difference, but it's just cutting out some of the boominess, the boxiness. Uh, and then just making it cut. So let's listen to it right now in reference to the track. Don't want a margarita without the saw. Don't want a dance floor without the saw. All right, it's pretty good. It's cutting now, but it's still a little dry. The next thing I would do was send it to a bus, which this will be bus eight. We will do a stock reverb here. Let's do silver verb. Want to make sure it's stereo set, and then let's mess around with this verb real quick see what we get don't want a margarita so that i could tell right away that size is a little too big so we'll make the size of the room smaller don't want a margarita without the saw don't want to dance what i'm doing there when i adjust the size is making sure that with the tempo of the song you don't want a really long reverb overhanging the ending of words into the next beat Meaning if, if it's a quicker moving song like this is, then you want a shorter, smaller room or a shorter verb. That way the verb will get out of the way of the next phrase. So. Don't want a margarita without the song. And once I have my size right, I'll just go ahead and back off of this bus right here. Uh, where I sent this lead vocal to that bus, I'll go ahead and just pull that back a little bit. Don't want a margarita without the saw don't want a dance floor without the saw some things are just better when you put them both together and you don't ever want them apart that sounded pretty good definitely hearing some delay so let's add that right now i, got, I did another bus bus nine again another stock plug let's use the stereo delay I immediately first thing i do when i open this thing is always take down that high cut because i know for sure i don't want that full frequency signal going through there. I want to cut those highs and make it a more dull delay. Don't want a margarita. So that would be a mess if we just left it where it is. So we want this delay to happen quicker. So I want maybe a 16th note delay and 
Let's see about the 16th dotted. Let's see. Let's just hear what that sounds. Also, let up. Don't, Don't want, want a margarita. All right. So that worked out pretty well. Just adjusting those settings very quickly. Don't, Don't want, want a margarita. Believe it or not, that's exactly what I was looking for because I have a quick delay that's not happening at the same time. I have 16th and a 16th dotted note in the on the right side. So you get a, a, a very quick room slap delay with this setting that I really like for this style of song. So Don't, don't want a margarita. And another reason that I like fussing this delay is so I can tell even still, I could do this on the plug-in. Um, I could just take this low cut right here. Don't, don't want a margarita with that. Or I could do it right here on the bus and cut a little bit of those lows on that delay as well. Don't, don't want, want a margarita with, with, with. We'll do both. And then, same thing when mixing the verb, I'll just play it in reference with the track and make sure that my delay's not too high. Don't want a margarita without the salt. Don't want a dance floor without the salt. So with a really busy delay like this, you don't want it happening too much. You just kind of want to fill it in the track. Um, and this is not something that probably would be happening in the verses if it's sparse because... Uh, it just really is supposed to fill the space in more of a chorus part of the song. I would probably do a different delay or a more subtle delay in the verses. But let's go ahead and keep mixing this in this chorus. I just wanted you guys to know that just because I'm applying this in this section does not mean I'm going to leave it on the whole song. Don't want a margarita without the salt. Don't want a dance floor without the salt. Some things are just better when you put them both together and you don't ever want them apart. Don't want the lights without the off Don't want the dress without the fall to the floor No night with no moon, no baby I don't want me without you Oh man, that sounded really good. We only got three plugs. We just cut some lows. We got a little bit of compression. Uh, and I just took a little bit of that boxiness out of its vocal. Now, the next thing I would do would be add this de -esser. You always want to DS your vocals just to make sure the sibilance is taken care of because that is really stands out in a mix whenever you get it in different studio environments, especially in a car. If you're not DSing your vocals, you, you'll regret it later. So believe me, just lightly apply this DSer on any vocals that you have going on. Read it without the salt. But even like whenever he says salt, um, it helps that out. Read it without the salt. I mean, just for that word alone, check out how much reduction's going on. Read it without the salt. Don't want a dance floor without the salt. Dance floor. Read it without the salt. Don't want a dance floor without the salt. Some things are just better when you put them both together and you don't ever want them apart. Don't want the lights without the off. Don't want the dress without the fall to the floor. No night with no moon, no baby, I don't want me without you. All right, guys, that's pretty much what I would do. I'm pretty happy with that mix. I know that's very simple, but that's really all I would do for this lead vocal right now. And we just have compression, we have delay, and we have de -essing. And then we also have verb and delay sent out through... Our bus channels we got the silver verb and then we also have the stereo delay all stock logic plugins to me it sounds great hope y'all learned something today see you next time